Before rally leader Latvala makes his way into the afternoon stages, time to see how his Yaris is armed to deal with the rough roads, where suspension and dampers make all the difference. Today, I'm going to introduce you my front right damper and how it functions. So it has around 300 millimeters of travel, what this damper can do, from high position to the low position. There is a piston, there is a valve, there is a shim plate, and all this, how you work with them, you make the, the damper that it gives you stability, durability, and the grip. When you have uh, jumps, you have uh, loose gravel, you have a high grip, you need to be able to adjust the dampers according to conditions. So you have thousands of options, actually. So that's why we keep testing and working and developing and finally the best for the race. In Portugal, Toyota didn't find the best setup for the race as both Yari Mati Lavala and Oit Tanak suffered with damper issues. Tanak ultimately got away with it and claimed victory, but Lavala was less fortunate. What happened to me in Portugal is here is the reservoir, the oil. Damper, it's about the hydraulics. It's the oil inside the damper and also it's pressurized with the gas. So how the oil flows in the damper, and you know when the impact comes, the piston inside the damper moves, and the oil needs to go somewhere. Of course, it goes to the reservoir. So when you lose the oil, it just comes completely loose. I tried to keep going. When the wheel was every braking and every pump, basically, it just compressed all the time like this, and it's hammering, 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 and then you top break the top mount. This is the fitting to the upright. You've seen me in Rally Chile when I retired. There was too much load coming to the damper body to the upright, and actually this piece cut out from the damper. And after that, if you don't have these fixing points, the car is going anywhere. I mean, the wheels will be completely open or loose. You can't steer the car anymore. In the 2015, a rear damper canister, I lost the oil, but I managed to drive 80 kilometers back to the service, but I had to drive 50 kilometers per hour. So this is the speed what you need to drive if you want to survive. If you try to keep going, you can be fast for a while, but not long. <laughs> 